Now, moving on to arguably one of the greatest video game series that Dragon Ball has ever had, and that's Dragon Ball Xenoverse. Now, the Dragon Ball Xenoverse 3, that's right, you heard me correctly, the Dragon Ball Xenoverse 3 video game has been rumoured in recent weeks. Now, again, we wrote a little bit of an article about what we know so far in on nerdsforlife.com, so that's nerds, the number four, life.com, so you can check that out. But Dragon Ball Xenoverse 3 has been tipped to be in the making, or at least be thought of by Bandai Entertainment. However, we don't believe that this is coming anytime soon. Let's be honest. Dragon Ball Fighter Z was released a few, couple of months ago. It was maybe three months ago, max. And there's only been one DLC created, with an upcoming DLC within the next month coming. Why would Bandai create another console video game so soon to their previous uh, console video game? They'd essentially be shooting themselves in the foot. It's not good business. You, you don't do that, especially with all the DLCs not even out yet. It doesn't make any sense, particularly because, I'm going to be honest, the Dragon Ball Xenoverse 3 video game would probably completely shit on the Dragon Ball, Z, uh, Dragon Ball Fighter Z video games. The Dragon Ball Xenoverse 3 is arguably one of the most highly anticipated video games. And you, and you know why? Because they aced everything. Everything was amazing. They had their own storyline, a brand new storyline that is completely different to the Dragon Ball Z video, uh, other video games, or the anime specifically. And then they also had what-if scenarios. They had amazing online content. So many side missions or uh, co-op missions that you could just you know, take part in. And then there was the tournaments, which were great, the online tournaments. You've, you've also, um, you also had your, your battles as well, which every Dragon Ball Z game has. You could fight your friends. It, it, it was amazing. But the most, the, the most, uh, easily the best part of the Dragon Ball Xenoverse video games was the fact that you can customize your characters. You could build any um, Saiyan, any human, any, I don't know what the, the boo, um, the boo race is called, so I'm just going to call it the margin race, and then um, anything, anything you could possibly think of, you can create, and you can make them strong, you can pick their skill set, their masters, you know, their tactics, their level of power, everything, their, their kit, everything, it was just awesome, and after getting two amazing video games in Xenoverse 1 and 2, we were given Fighter Z, and Fighter Z, honestly, isn't as good. And that's why there's a lot of talk about Xenoverse 3. And because of this talk, and huge, huge talk, by the way, like there's a massive fandom waiting desperately for Dragon Ball Xenoverse 3, there's no way in hell Bandai is just going to completely forget about this series. They are going to bring Dragon Ball Fight, uh, Xenoverse 3. We just don't know when exactly. But it is rumoured to be soon, and it'll be after the Dragon Ball Legends game comes out too. And it'll probably be, probably be after Dragon Ball Super airs their first movie, because they'll probably include those characters and that unknown Saiyan in the upcoming Dragon Ball Xenoverse video game, which would be, honestly, pretty awesome. 